Uh, but uh, I want to move on and talk about something else right now, an important development. Only a few weeks ago, as all of our viewers will remember, r Marines were engaged in one of the bloodiest battles of the war. One in five coalition casualties died in Nasiriyah, where enemy and friendly fire combined in a nightmarish scenario. CNN's Art Harris was embedded with the 2nd Marines. Here's his ex exclusive report. Bloody Nazaria. A city that saw a lot of fighting and a lot of dying. A pivotal battle in the war and one of the toughest battles in the Iraq campaign. Nine Marines died when this armored vehicle was ambushed March 23rd. Then reinforcements came to town. But so-called friendly fire took a toll. Marine officers told me this convoy also came under deadly attack by an Air Force A-10, an incident still under investigation. Later, Marines I was riding with were confused and frightened during a firefight in the dark. You think you're the one who's getting shot at? Everybody is. But guess what? If you get down for that gun and you don't shoot back, we all fuck gonna die. We won't play no fucking game out here. Hey, so where the rest of my shooting at? Later that morning, we drove by these dazed Marines, Humvees and trucks destroyed, not by Iraqis who fired first, but by my Marine unit. No one died, but 20 Marines were wounded in the friendly crossfire, including a very lucky Corporal Ray Narvas. It broke the steering wheel? No, the steering wheel caught the round. Shh, Blue glass in my face and plastic in my eye. You, did you get glass in the eye? Yeah, right there. Let me see. Jeez. Both units later joked it showed just how tough Marines were, that no one blinked. Then, redemption. After running the gauntlet called Ambush Alley, let's go, let's go! Charlie Company dodged withering fire and took out sniper after sniper along the Euphrates River. Across the river, I could see a building burning where the Marines had returned fire against the sniper who apparently had taken that shot. Marines also destroyed the Bath Party command post, brick by brick. Then Cobra helicopters swooped in to keep the pressure on and took out a machine gun nest inside this mosque. After the battle, a morale boost for the Marines, a pup of war, orphan, and adopted as a mascot named Naz, after Nazaria. He saw combat, dined on MREs, and learned to growl <coughs> like the top dogs of war. Art Harris, CNN. Good work to Art Harris, all of our embedded reporters who did uh, a remarkable job for all of us.